Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. By fans, for fans, I'm David Goodwill. This is Christopher Drags, and we are doing a preview of the LA Kings. But well, before we get into that, how about a little sponsorship commercial? This show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you can get all your hockey gear. If you're looking for a Halloween costume, you can dress up like a referee. They sell the jerseys there. Also pants and um, the orange bands that go over the jerseys. You uh, can visit them at uh, HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or you can contact them at 414-800-7585. They are located across the street from the Wilson Park Ice Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, while you're here... The LA Kings review. All right, we're about to break or down. preview, sorry. Yeah, preview. we're about to break down the preview for tonight's LA Kings Predators game. Uh, last season, your top five point getters were as follows: Anzi Kopitar. No big surprise there. No. He had 22 goals, 38 assists. Dustin Brown. No, uh, no surprise there either. He's been a consistent player. Keep an eye on him. He had 22 goals, 29 assists. Drew Doughty, no duh, he's good, but he had eight goals, 37 assists. He Ilya also was a Chuck, he had 16 goals, 18 assists, and Tyler Toffoli, uh, 13 goals, 21 assists. Now, this season, it's basically the same guys currently. Uh, Anze Kopitar, so far this year, he has five points, he has one goal, four assists. Drew Doughty, he has two goals, two assists. Ilya Kovalchuk, one goal, three assists. Tyler Toffoli, two goals, one assist. And then Sean Walker, he had two goals. They are, um, last season, the Predators were 3-0 against the Kings. Uh, the last meeting between the Predators and Kings was on March 14th. The Predators won 3-1. Uh, Colton Sissons had one goal and an assist. Craig Smith had a goal. And Victor Arvidsson had a goal. Uh, in net for the Kings that night was uh, Jonathan Quick. He had 31 saves and he faced 34 shots. Uh, uh, in uh, net for, in net for the Predators was Pekka Rene. He had he faced 26 shots and he had 25 saves. He had to be a little quicker. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's basically it for the Kings. Uh, it's no shocker that those same guys that have led the team in points last season is currently leading them in points this year. Uh, there's really nobody that really stands out in my mind that could be a, a sleeper. So, honestly, I think the Predators should be able to win this game. L.A., they're kind of on the downswing. They're in flux. Yeah. I mean, they only have like four or five guys that are consistent. The rest of their team is just kind of, you know, it's kind of blah. And Quick's getting old. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if they've uh, sent anybody to Ontario or called anybody up. I'm not too sure with that. Um, I also wanted to make a statement on Drew Doughty. He was injured for most of last season, so with all those points, uh, he only played, I think, like 50 games which means he missed a good 32 games or so. So he, he, he was injured a bit. Um, anything else you got? I'm checking real quick. Uh, so far, the Kings are 1-2 and two this season. That's the only additional stuff I can add about the Kings. Um, so this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, the hockey podcast, my fans for fans preview of the LA Kings Predators game that happens tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. tonight. Whoa, really? Yeah. Week. Yeah, but it is what it is. 5 p.m. Central Time. According to what they, what, what NHL says. Probably because of the baseball playoffs, I would assume. I would assume, you know. Yeah. All right. So, uh, this show has been sponsored by Hockey Locker. You can contact him at uh, 414-800-7585. Or you can visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Uh, tell them from Milwaukee to Nashville sent you. They know who we are, clearly, because they're sponsoring us. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later tonight when we do the recap of tonight's Predator Kings game. Peace.